Hey guys, what's going on? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces, and today I wanted to talk to you about smart plugs. Smart plugs has become kind of the main staple or widely used device as far as the average consumer or household amenities. Now, smart plugs can be used for a number of reasons, whether it's to power your lights or connect your sound bar or whatever device you want, you know it's become more and more usable. These are Wi-Fi uh, capable devices, so that way it can connect to the hub or station or internet, and then you can manage these devices remotely, locally, or afar. Now, what if we try to take this application or this device, a smart plug, and use it for crypto mining? Well, why should we? We already have one of the best that's out there, the P3 P4400 kilowatt meter is a, a staple in the mining community because if you're trying to get the best bang for your buck, you want to make your mining rig as efficient as possible. Well, the only downfall is it's not Wi-Fi capable and in order to view it, you have to go to whatever outlet you have it plugged into and go look at the LCD screen. But smart plugs might change that. However, I have burnt up three of these so far. So the best thing to do if you're going to use one of these is when you're setting up your mining rig for the first time or you just want to check it every now and then, you set all your parameters. So you get the mining rig booted, you get your overclock set, you undervolt, overvolt, whatever you're trying to do and you figure out the numbers here to get the best efficiency. But once you're done setting it up and configuring your mining rig, you don't need to run it 24 seven. So you just shut it down, unplug it, and then let it run as normal. But I want to monitor my rigs 24 seven. So what is my option? Well, my options are smart plugs. However, just like I burnt these guys up, which on the back here, it says is rated for max voltage of, or max power of 1800 Watts, max current 15 amps, uh, max voltage, uh, 120 VAC. Other people have had issues with smart plugs. So you might want to do your due diligence and research and double check. So some people are saying the smart plugs are rated for 1800 watts. I wouldn't say that means that is what you should put on it 24 seven or what it's rated for 24 seven. Just like this is rated for 1800 watts or says max power is 1800 watts, but it burnt up around 1200. Somebody on Amazon, at least with this Casa Smart Wi-Fi uh, plug by TP-Link, they caught their smart plug on fire by using a 1500 watt space heater. Now, common sense to me says you shouldn't put, probably put a space heater on a smart plug, but I can see why some people would do it in case, you know, the room's cold and they just want to lazily go to their phone and hit the button. But anyways, certain devices i wouldn't recommend using it and mining rig is actually encroaching upon that territory because we're trying to mine our rigs 24 7. but there's a couple perks and benefits which i'm going to go over here in just a minute another page says this smart plug is rated for 1500 watts max on a 15 amp breaker so kind of the same thing another page 1800 watts 15 amp breaker all right so we're seeing a pattern here most of these smart plugs, and you have to do, once again, your due diligence and research, most of these smart plugs should be rated at a max power of 1800 watts, but again, you don't want to run it at that maximum. These smart plugs can handle basic appliances, lamps, uh, maybe you know your, your bakery mixing machine, sound bar, uh, different uh, smaller appliances is what I would call them. But can it handle a mining rig? Well, I'm gonna be testing that out. I'm, I've been using this smart plug for some time. I moved it over from the lamp that I had it connected to, to my mining rig, because I wanted to see how much power I was drawing when I wanted to see it. Just at whim, at will, anytime. Well, if something happens, it shorts, it burns up, it breaks, whatever, I will post an update in the comments below or description, so check back for those details. But there's a lot more that you can do with a smart plug with IFT. So if your application, because each of these smart plugs 
either are able to be integrated with Apple HomeKit, which some of them can't. For example, the Samsung Smart Things Wi-Fi Smart Plug, which is what I have, it, it lacks support for Apple HomeKit. But some of the other ones can't. So it really depends on your smartphone or device. However, because I have Android and I use Samsung, it integrates just fine. But I can get more features or more capability with IFT. And IFT allows you to set up a, a parameters for if this, then that. So, for example, if I walk, if I if I get home, unlock the front door. If I pull into the driveway, open the garage. Obviously, the garage would have to have a smart garage um, opener, and the front door would have to have a smart lock. But it's kind of the same parameters, and people share those different things here. You know, like if it, at 5 p.m. turn on the lamp, or it and it turns on a smart plug lamp, to kicks on. And there's a lot of them out there that you can look at, or you can make your own custom, if this, then that. So let me go into the application and show you what I like to look at to help me maintain or monitor my device or my rig. All right, guys, so here we are on the application now. The application will vary depending on the type of smart plugs that you are using. The smart plugs might have proprietary applications that you have to utilize in order to use them, but most of them integrate to either Apple HomeKit or Google Home. I can't talk today. But based on your application, the amount of features you have with SmartThings Hub, this is what I got. I can power on and power off the device. I can set a timer for when I want it to kick on or how long I want it to run or how long I want it to be off. I could also set a specific time, you know, like start mining at 6 a.m., cut off at 6 p.m. If I want to save electricity, that might be helpful. You know, if I don't want to mine 24 seven, but I only want it to mine during the best time of day, like depending on your area, uh, it, it, electricity might be cheaper during a certain time because, you know, the hydro dam's running or whatever. It, it, it does happen for specific areas throughout the world. So that feature, the power on, power off, set times, would be useful for those individuals. Now I mine 24 seven and as you can see, I'm pulling about an average of 66.6 .6 kilowatt hours. And then there's the power meter. We can also click this icon in the top right to get a graph. This graph will show us our hourly and our daily. And right now we are pulling on average about 1.1 kilowatts or 1100 watts. And you can see when my system was down because you can see I was pulling 100 watts. That's usually about where my system is idle is about 100 watts but when it's at full tilt it's going to be around 1100 watts further down we get an activity history where we can see a kind of a status of everything and and how everything is going making sure that the mining rig is healthy that it's mining well if a card or two went down i would be able to see through, through the power draw but not only through the applications that i use to monitor but through the power draw that something's wrong and then I can just go back up and go to power uh, restart the system and bring it back up so that way my parameters that I have set in my miner as soon as it kicks back on and boots up after a while it will go ahead and start mining on the program I have selected now I just wanted to share with you the fact that you can use a smart plug to manage and monitor the power requirements or the power of your mining rigs but more importantly how how is it gonna handle longevity wise how is it gonna perform is it gonna die again I killed a number of these in the past by leaving it on there 24 7 and and Carter from Bitsby Trippin was like you don't need to you just put this on your rig get it set up get it configured overclocks all that good stuff for the most efficiency and then you can just shut down the rig, unplug that, and you're good to go. But I want to monitor my power usage 24-7, especially for somebody who, again, lives in an area where power is cheaper at a certain time, then this may be efficient or better for them. So smart plugs can be utilized for the crypto space, and I'm going to start to test mine out, and I will keep the, the description or the comments updated with any news, whether it shorts, goes out, burns, whatever. So check that. But if you got any useful information out of this video, do me a favor, hit the like button on your way out. Subscribe for more content. Let me know in the comments if you do want me to make a, uh, a video of my, like my top tools or um, you know 
programs that I use to monitor slash maintain my mining rigs. And I will catch you guys in the next one. I thank you for stopping by today.